Hey guys, Brian Schultz here with Cape Falcon Kayak with an updated video on installing foam thigh braces in the keyhole style cockpits for my skin on frame kayaks. Now the thigh bracing that I prefer for this style of cockpit, if I decide to put thigh bracing in at all, is just these really simple foam thigh hooks here. And the reason that I like these as opposed to more of an aggressive style of thigh hook is because while you're paddling, especially if you're going to be in here for a long time, it is really nice to be able to raise your knees for comfort. And if you have aggressive thigh hooks, you're not able to do that, which means that if you get really uncomfortable in your kayak, you might actually have to land the boat to be able to stretch and get comfortable again. So I try to strike a balance between good connection to the boat, but also just the practicality of long distance sea kayak touring. Now, additionally, the flexibility of the skin here on either side of the cockpit gives much better connection to the boat than a hard fiberglass or a hard plastic shell. So we don't need quite the same amount of thigh hook in the first place to stay securely connected to the boat. Now, whether you need these or not really depends on the conditions you're gonna be paddling in. If you're gonna be doing a lot of rolling and you're gonna be doing surf launches and surf landing, I think it makes sense to install these, but if you're just gonna be paddling in more moderate conditions, what you might wanna do is just paddle your boat for a few weeks and see if you actually need this in the first place and then think about putting your thigh braces in. Now, if you decide you wanna put these in, the process here is pretty easy. We're just gonna take the foam thigh hook sit in the cockpit, put it over your knees in the spot where it feels comfortable, and then you're gonna mark it, we're gonna take it out, we're gonna mask off the area, and then we're gonna glue this in there with some rubber cement. Now, I include these in my kayak building kits, and I also sell them on my site separately. You could also just make these yourself, they're just little blocks of foam that are cut to a curve, but cutting this curve is kind of tricky and it's a little bit hazardous. So taking a closer look at one of these blocks here, this is mini cell foam and the dimensions I start with are four inches wide by five and a half inches long by an inch and a half tall. And I cut this to a curve on a bandsaw, but I'm not going to officially recommend that because it's a little bit dangerous. However you decide to make this block, if you decide to make it yourself, just make sure you're being as safe as possible so you don't accidentally hurt yourself. Now, there is a bit of a nuance to this curve here because if you cut this too straight, it's not gonna be comfortable and it's not gonna do its job. But if you cut it into too deep of a curve, your knee is just gonna press out the side of it and it's also not gonna do its job. So you really want kind of this nice shallow curve, just like you see right here. Now, additionally, I like to leave a little spot about an eighth of an inch wide at the top right here because that just gives a little more structure to this area and once again helps to prevent your knee from slipping out the side. Now, the first step to installing this is just to climb into your kayak and get nice and comfortable so you're sitting exactly like you would be when you're out paddling. Now, at this point, you're going to get the foam thigh hook and you're going to put it in here over your kneecap and you're going to press it up into place. Now, the location that I like for this is to have the front edge of this parallel with the bottom of the front edge of my kneecap. And then I'm gonna take a measurement from the front edge of this to the back edge of the nearest deck beam. And I'm gonna make a note of that measurement so I can put the other thigh brace in the same position on the other side. Now, when this is sitting in here, it's going to be flush at the front edge with the inside of the combing but it's gonna overhang on the back edge by a half of an inch. And that seems to be about as far as you can bring this in on the back edge without this portion of this being too floppy. Now, at this point, you wanna take your thigh hooks over to your workbench. You wanna measure a half of an inch in on the back edge, and you wanna make a mark. And then at that point, you wanna get some masking tape, and you're gonna mask from this point up to this corner right here. And the reason we're doing this is one, because this will help us to align this perfectly in the cockpit, but also it helps to keep the rubber cement from getting on this portion. Now, at this point with the kayak upside down on sawhorses, you wanna climb inside, carefully position the thigh hook according to the measurement you took earlier, and then you wanna mask off the area. Now, after you've done that, you can take the thigh hook out of the way, and we're gonna apply some rubber cement to this surface, and then also to the thigh hook itself. So the product that I'm using to glue the thigh braces in here is called Barge Cement. This is just a really nice heavy duty rubber cement. I'm sure any rubber cement would work, but this is just what I recommend. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, squeeze this stuff on here. 
I'm putting a pretty liberal coat of this stuff on because the foam is somewhat porous. And then I like to take a two inch foam brush and just brush this stuff out, get a nice even coating over the entire thing. And you're gonna do this on both of these foam thigh braces and you're gonna do this where they get glued down on the inside of the kayak. All right, so after your rubber cement has been drying on both surfaces for 15 minutes, you're gonna come inside the kayak here and very carefully, you're gonna stick this in place. The important thing to know about working with rubber cement is that once you stick this, you can't move it even a tiny bit. So you wanna be really meticulous when you stick this down. I would start at the front corner right here and align that. And then I would align the back inside corner and then stick it down and just press these surfaces together really tightly. And then after that, you can pull your masking tape and you're gonna wait for about 24 hours. Now, once your rubber cement is fully cured, you can turn the kayak back upright and you can get yourself some 120 grit sandpaper that we're gonna to use to just shape these surfaces so this doesn't look quite so angular. So what I like to do is take off some of this inside edge right here and then wrap this over the underside like this, round that over a little bit, and then really aggressively, I like to knock down these corners right here. So basically the idea here is that when you're done, all of the sharp edges are gonna be nice and rounded over. Now, you can do this within just a couple hours of sticking these down, but you do wanna be a little more gentle with it so you don't accidentally peel the adhesive apart. It's also a good idea to put something in the bottom of your kayak to catch all the dust that's gonna fall off of this. So that's pretty much it for installing this style of foam thigh brace in the keyhole cockpits of my skin on frame kayaks. Now, keep in mind, you can use these same techniques to make thigh braces that are smaller or thigh braces that are larger, but if you're gonna be doing something that's significantly different than what you saw me do here today, I would recommend putting those in with double-sided tape and taking them out paddling to make sure that you like them before you commit to using your rubber cement. All right, so that's it for now. If you like these videos, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. You can also check me out on my website, which is capefalconkayaks.com, where I've got a bunch more skin on frame building videos and various skin on frame resources. You can find me on Instagram, at capefalconbuilds, where I post a daily build blog of everything I'm doing here in the workshop, including time-lapse videos. Take care, be safe while you're paddling, and have fun building your skin on frame kayak.